Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sincerely, along with Christine Brown I never lived full time with a man prior to David, when her mother Christine married David Woolley, truly Brown wasn't left out of the wedding footage in the sister wives special, and one moment highlighted a unique kinship. Cody Brown's daughter was always a treasured member of the family and among TLC fans, despite being the youngest in the family prior to the arrival of Ariella May and Solomon. That's because, when she was three years old, she very nearly passed away. Luckily, she made it through and lived to witness her mother meet and marry a man who truly loves her, Christine and her youngest child have a close relationship that has only gotten stronger with time. Cody's ex-third wife took her fans on a nostalgic journey in March 2022, sharing details of her child's terrifying near-death experience. She recalled at the moment how she didn't know if she would see her child alive the following day while they were receiving dialysis. What appeared to be the sickness turned out to be dehydration, and her kidneys began to fail. Brown was, in fact, a lively child who loved acting and reading as a child. She was also respected by TLC viewers since she was honest with Cody Brown about her boundaries. That happened when he rode a bike and shoved her too hard. Fans have previously reported that when she felt uncomfortable with her father, she wouldn't allow him hug her or give him a high five. As a result, none of them are living with him. Her mother also informed Cody that he had crossed too many limits. That adds yet another layer of mother-daughter bonding. A recent preview for Sister Wives, part two where sisters were heard conversing with Truly in the Christine and David wedding special. Michael T. declared that David was already a stepfather to her. Then, according to Christine's confessions, she and her youngest talked about living in David's home. She initially claimed she wasn't too concerned about it, but then her mother mentioned that she was a little anxious. Living in a house continuously occupied by a man was, after all, a significant adjustment for her as well. The teenager then confessed that she felt a lot anxious. An original poster on Reddit observed that Truly Brown and her mother never had a typical family life after watching the Sister Wives wedding teaser, How Very Gilmore Girls, a sneak peek. I was like, holy cow, that's true, when the girls mentioned that this is the first time Christine and Trulé have lived with a man full-time. It made me think of Gigi and Rory having a similar talk the night before Lorelai was set to marry Max Wildman, really wild. During the conversation, viewers of TLC came to the consensus that Mary had lived with Cody Brown for a long time until Janelle joined the family, and that Janelle had previously been monogamous with another man. That meant that only Christine had never encountered it. Furthermore, it would be truly Brown's first experience living with a father figure on a daily basis. A member of Christine Brown's family went on a murderous rampage. Christine Brown, actress of Sister Wives, startled fans after seeing a documentary on her uncle. However, it wasn't your typical series. Rather, it was about her uncle's role in 25 murders. It was called Daughters of the Cult and it chronicles Ervil LeBaron's life. To find out more about Christine's family's horrific past, continue reading, few people are aware of the intricate ties within the Brown family. The ex-sister wives were once-in-laws since Janelle's first husband was Adam Barber, Mary's brother. Christine's first cousin and Cody's third cousin is David Jessup, Robin's ex-husband. However, things only become more intricate. Aspen and her spouse, Mitch Thompson, are actually third cousins, as it was later discovered. They were married in 2018 and haven't had any children yet. A few Reddit users talked about the new documentary Daughters of the Cult on Hulu. It tells the tale of Ervil LeBaron, Christine's uncle, who killed Rulon Allred, her paternal grandfather, and 25 other people. Anna LeBaron, Christine's first cousin, related the tale. Christine's maternal grandfather's brother was Ervil, her father. She said that Ervil gave the order to assassinate Rulon, primarily due to religious beliefs. Anna disclosed that her father adopted a doctrine and developed a fervent belief in polygamy. He had 51 offspring and 13 spouses. She further disclosed that her father would execute those who attempted to defect from his group. Concurrently, Ervil's rival church, the Apostolic United Brethren, was led by Christine's late grandfather, Rulon. He was viewed by my father as a self-appointed prophet, and the Church of Jesus Christ's sacred scripture speaks of a powerful individual. 
My father thought he was the one who was powerful and strong. Since he was the true prophet, all others who professed to be powerful and strong were heretics deserving of punishment. Ervil ordered Rulon to be shot to death at his clinic. Less than a year after his incarceration in May 1979, he passed away behind bars, although Anna had never met Christine in person, she said she would have loved to if given the opportunity. She is conscious of and comprehends the possibility that they won't ever meet, though. However, given the tough and sad past our families have shared, I totally understand if, given her current state of health, she feels that it is not in her best interest to meet me, Ervil's daughter. The similarity between them also astonished some Redditors. These are a few remarks that were made to them. I was shocked to see how similar an adolescent Anna and Christine from her wedding photos are to Cody when I watched last night. The young Anna LeBaron in the photo appears to be Trilly's twin. They could pass for identical twins, holy sh asterisk t. I watched it last night after going down the rabbit hole. Oh no. I'm not even sure how. This is an appalling cult. They are completely unchristian even though they quote the Bible. Christine Brown says nothing at all about the controversial documentary concerning her uncle. However, it appears that she wishes to maintain her optimistic outlook on life after being married to David Woolley. Cody Brown says he will always have a relationship with his ex-wife, shocking fans of sister wives. Even though Cody Brown's four wives have spiritually separated from him, he believes that one of them will always have a special place in his heart for the sister wives patriarch. Additionally, fans who have been watching closely as his polygamous relationships have collapsed on the small screen will undoubtedly be surprised to learn who the ex-boyfriend is. Cody has stated that he sees the possibility of a lasting friendship with his first wife, Mary Brown. Cody is only still legally and spiritually married to his fourth wife, Robin Brown. Cody told people of his plan to maintain a strong relationship with Mary, whom he married in 1990, saying, The evolution of everything that happened with Mary and I over the past 20 years has had an effect to where we've come to here. It was basically just what I thought was a very gentle negotiation of where we are at, what our personalities are like, and what we can give each other and what we can't, she said of her and my permanent separation. Naturally, loyal viewers of their all-access TLC series would find it difficult to characterize any aspect of Cody and Mary's relationship as gentle or their separation as such. Since the premiere of Sister Wives in 2010, Mary and Cody have had a rocky relationship marked by Mary's lack of intimacy with him, his coldness toward her infertility struggles, their diminished role in each other's daily lives, Mary's falling for a catfish scandal, and Cody's declaration that he would only fake love her if necessary. For the ex-partners, the dissolution of their marriage has been severe. But now that their past friendship has ended, Cody is looking forward to a genuine one with Mary, one he feels they could only share after letting go of.